Hundreds of families lined the harbour and airport perimeter to watch the Airbus 380 soaring over the city. No paying passengers though, this flight was purely promotional. Arriving to the icons of Sydney, a landmark of aviation. And like any overseas visitor, the Airbus A380 was posing for pictures taken from that smaller jet. Uh, establish some final uh, three, four, left. Sydney Tower. Good morning to you, sir. There you go. Hundreds crammed vantage points around Sydney Airport. Something so big is the big thing for me, watching it, watching it land. Woke up at 3 o'clock, got out here at about 4 o'clock in the morning. It's just magic watching them take off and land. It may have been late, but didn't disappoint. The equivalent of a seven-storey building on wings as long as a soccer field. It was huge. It was really cool. Yeah, it was really huge. Airbus says it's also more fuel efficient and quieter. It has about half the noise footprint of a 747-400, despite the fact it carries about a third more people. There is absolutely no question that it will bring new levels of comfort to customers as well as new air airline uh, operating economics for the carriers. It's still bare on board, the massive cabin filled with ballast and instruments for all the flight testing they've been doing. It may look more spacecraft than aircraft now, but when it's fitted out, Qantas says there'll be room for almost 500 passengers with enough space left over for special lounge areas, even in economy. Well, John wanted to put a jacuzzi in there as well, uh, but the no turbulence sort of moved. <laughs> the first A380 service from Australia to the US is expected in April 2007. Paul Caddick, 7 News.